vir elf lag vir die ouwens wat daar rond gehoop het nie. Ek het, sien, ek het niemand gesien spring of jump nie. So Herman, volgende week as ek saam met jou oefen, jump, jump, jump asjeblief. Nou gepraat van mense wat jump, ons het gesien hoe, speers, hoe hoog spring peers spies. En hy speel hierdie naweek, want een super 15 rugby hierdie naweek, want hulle speel Tenny Haie. En een man wat alles weet van rugby en enige ander sport van Sport24 is Tank Lanning. Morning, welcome. Morning Liesl, I'm glad we're we switching back to English. Yeah. So, as I said, I'm sure I can understand it. You always look worried when I go in there with the Afrikaans. I said Super 15 rugby, we mentioned Pierce Beast playing against the, the Bulls, playing against the, the Sharks this yep. weekend. Quite a big one. Yeah, big one. Uh, look, uh, uh, everyone's talking about the sort of Lambie, Pat Lambie versus Monet Stay yeah. and fly half battle. Um, but to my mind, I think it's probably going to be one elsewhere. Um, and I, th I think it's good news for your team. Um, we've seen how PSPs can jump. Um, <laughs> but he's up against, the, they're, they're playing Alberts at eight. And Alberts is a big ball carrier. He's played well for the Springboks at seven. I'm just not sure he's, a, he's, he's good enough at number eight. And I think inside Stain and Lambie, where you've got uh, Dupree versus McLeod, I think Farid Dupree is still the class act there. So, uh, you know, obviously it's at home, um, and the Sharks probably uh, favourites. But my gut feel says, says Bulls might take that one. But then this morning is, the, is probably the yeah, cracker. Yeah, now, any minutes. Like exactly, an yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple of hours' time. Uh, Stormers versus Blues. Stormers have been hit with horrific injury blows, you know. De Villiers, uh, Faree, mm. Peter Grant, all out. So they've got a brand new fly half centre pairing. Uh, and they've got the, the lighty there, Johan uh, Saadi, who really is a very, very good player. But, uh, you know, that's a lot of inexperience against the blue side who are log leaders with Crusaders. So uh, I think that'll be a tough one for them. And then the Cheetahs, you know, after their win against the Crusaders, <laughs> they've got to be, you know, they've got to be favourites against the Rebels, which is mm. quite cool. Um, I, I think they're playing really well. The Eberson brothers are playing well. Henrik Brousseau is playing well. And, you know, I, I think they could put the Rebels again to, you know, to, to have a really good record this year. Well, I think it's an exciting rugby weekend. I'm definitely going to be glued to my screen. Yeah, yeah. And then keeping on the, the topic of rugby, I was reading Sport 24 yesterday and I saw Luke Watson making headlines again. Yes. What's going on there? The man <laughs> everyone loves to hate. Correct, or just hate. Um, yeah, to be honest, I'd never met him. I'd had a few chats with him on, on, on Twitter. Um, he's come back to South Africa to play for the EP Kings. He signed a management deal with a, a local publishing house, when it's so, which is in itself quite big news because, you know, should a publisher be getting into, in, into player management? So that's a question. But, uh, you know, I had a one-on-one -on -one with him, and a, he really is an intelligent guy, a really nice guy. Um, I think he was young when he, you know, the vomit on the, on the Bok jersey, um, that whole issue about not being selected by Jake White is a real problem area for him. And I think even he admits that he probably handled it quite, quite uh, wrong. But that man has given up a proper, proper cash contract in Bath, uh, a really good lifestyle to come back and fight for the EP Kings. Now, I know it's, it's shrouded in, in controversy because people don't think the Kings should play Super Rugby in any case, and I'm probably one of those. But, you know, Watson is a great player. Um, I believe him when he says he's come back to South Africa to help the, 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 the region grow. And I think one can only respect that, and hopefully he'll just do his talking on the field rather than in, 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 the, in the media. It's nice to see people coming back to South Africa and, and helping out and, and growing with yeah. players and, and trying to promote the sport of rugby. Uh, PSL this weekend, also a biggie. Anyone can walk away with a title out can, of three teams. Can you believe it? You know, yeah, uh, you talk about the business end. This really is the business oh. end. Uh, you know, Chiefs and Pirates have won it numerous times. Uh, the Cape side of the Ajax have never done it. They are they're two points ahead right now. Um, so the, the ball is in their court, literally. I know it's a, a sneaky little <laughs> cliche, but uh, the ball is in their court. Or they their play, net. <laughs> or their net, yeah. <laughs> but they play at the Cape Town Stadium, which will be awesome. I don't think they've, they've opened up the fan walk, but they, they play Marriage They are opening the fan walk. They are. Yes, I nice saw it on Twitter one. yesterday. Well Tourism okay. Cape Town tweeted that. Oh, so awesome. yes, so that's very um, cool. So I think that'll be a fantastic occasion. Uh, they, they've got to come back from being hammered 4-1 by mm -hmm. Chiefs um, uh, last week. So you, you've got to wonder how their mindset is and the fact that they haven't won before. They've actually only got one player who's won a medal before, and that's with Supersport United, Brent Carl. So, so 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon, the stadium against Marysburg United. But if they come unstuck, Pirates and Chiefs are waiting. You know, they're only two points behind. You get three points for a win. And if either of those, those sides win and Ajax lose, they could take the title. Ooh, so, so it's tight. It is tight. really tight, yeah. And then Blitzach, Bayer Blitzach, <laughs> Yo, Yospan, this, the team that you love, the Blitzbocker yeah. uh, team close to your heart yeah, this look, weekend. They, they, they go to London this weekend. They've got a, a young squad again because Paul True is often losing players to national squads. So he selected a guy called William Small Smith, who I saw play for SS Schools. Really exciting. But the, uh, the Blitzbocker are fourth on the log. Uh, the Kiwis have totally dominated. But, you know, we've seen some good stuff from the Blitzbocker. They won in, in Vegas, and now they've got the last two uh, tournaments of the year, one in London this weekend and then in, in, in Edinburgh. And, uh, you know, they're playing some great rugby. Cecil Africa really is a true, true star. So I think they're, they're, they're in with a shot. Now, I want to ask you something. 
How high can you jump? <laughs> sure, but after seeing Pierre's piece, I can probably get over this muffin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you try that. But while we let Tank Lanning try jumping over the muffin, let's find out what motivates this man that can jump 1.4 meters high. Take a look at